Okay, everybody, let's get officially started for today. This is the last weekend of the Oracle um, class, and that's why you're all here, I hope. And uh, if you're in the Oracle class, that is. What you're looking at is the schedule for today's agenda, and I have a few notes to make um, about the schedule and a few notes to make about the weekend uh, that are important for you to, to take into consideration. Uh, the final exam will be given on Sunday, and the final exam will start at 3 p.m., and it's administered by the university, not me, which is why it's starting at 3 p.m. There's nothing I can do about it. If you're not here at 3 p.m. on Sunday, you're not going to be able to take the final exam. So you have to be in this room at 3 p.m. on Sunday, according to the ITU exam people whoever these people are, who are going to come in here to give you the exam. I'll still be here, but um, they're running the exam. So first time for me, I have no idea what they're going to do, seriously. Probably check your ID and make sure you're not cheating and stuff like that. Um, everybody will take it all together in one batch. Um, we've got plenty of room in this room, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, Probably the exam will probably take you about an hour, hour and a half, maybe, so three, four, five. You'll probably be out by five. I can't start it any earlier or later, and I can't do make any changes with it. The university is going to send their people in, whoever these people happen to be. Maybe someone in this room is one of those people. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, that's what I hear. So that's what's going to go on on Sunday. I did make some schedule changes. <clears throat> so... You may or may not have noticed, uh, last night I actually updated the LMS with the removal of the in-class assignments 7 through 12. So, now it got quiet. People are like, what? We're not going to do the 7 through 12 in-class assignments that we originally planned to do, which I felt was a bit overkill. <laughs> And if you're in the AI class, we're not doing 7 through 12 in-class assignments either. Instead, and we're like, what? There's an instead? Instead, no, this is a good instead. <clears throat> instead, there are two remaining assignments that were take-home assignments that you'll have time to work on in class. So we're still going to have our break time to work on stuff. So you don't have to necessarily sit here all single, uh, every, single all, every single hour all day listening to me talk because I can't talk for eight hours straight for three days straight anyway. So we'll still have our break for work, but you'll be having an opportunity to study for the exam, which is on Sunday. And you will also have an opportunity today and tomorrow to work on the assignments, the last two assignments that are due on November 30th. So those two assignments are still due. So is the CSLO essay, but you'll have time in class to work on it. No more extra assignments in class. So hopefully that'll be a good change. I don't believe I'm ever going to be teaching this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday again. And nor am I going to have so many different assignments that are going to be issued in class, which is too much, too much, way too much. So it's a learning experience, live and learn. So yeah, it's too much sitting three days straight or too much. It's too much. So. Trying to make this a little bit better so we can get through the weekend. So, And I know some of you are coming back next weekend for round two of the AI class. So you guys are really going to get, uh, you're really gonna get uh, burnt out on ITU by the end of, the, end of November. <laughs> so, all right, but uh, the content's still the same. Uh, so I'm going to cover database connectivity. We actually went, uh, I was looking at the schedule, and uh, we actually got pretty far. We already did the... Uh, introduction to SQL last time. I believe I covered SQL, like maybe 60 slides of beers and bars and drinking and all that other stuff, if you remember. Uh, and I think we covered that, unless someone wants to correct me on that. I think we pretty much got through all that. And then uh, advanced SQL as well. So we're actually sort of a day ahead, so we can kind of have an easy time today, um, which is good. I'm going to talk about internet databases, using databases over the internet, database connectivity, and JDBC, uh, and using databases for most of today and tomorrow. Uh, the content of what's on the final exam that you'll be taking on Sunday, I can tell you right now, actually, <coughs> it is SQL, it is Entity Relationship Diagramming, and Basic Database Content, primarily from the first weekend. 
only one or two questions perhaps from this weekend and they're going to come out of today or tomorrow. They won't come out of anything delivered on Sunday. So you'll be rest assured that you know all of the information or you've been given all of the information that you're going to be tested on um, for Sunday already. So today is more like in exploring databases and using with internet, with connectivity, third-party applications, and all database-related things that are related to uh, some of the features of Oracle and uh, administration and stuff like that. Any questions before we get started? We uh, will probably uh, make uh, class start at 10 tomorrow morning and 10 on Sunday morning. Does that sound good to everybody? Yeah, sounds good to me too. It's going to be a gorgeous weekend as well because uh, it's going to be like 75 to 80. So they call this earthquake weather in California, actually. Because like last week it was like 60 and rainy. And then now we're going to have like 75 and sunny. And then rainy, sunny. That flip-flop in weather, they call it earthquake weather. Because it, it messes up the atmosphere. And then it makes uh, for anyway. So I'm not saying there's going to be an earthquake. But all the big ones have happened at end of October, early part of November in the history of California. So just let you know. You might see an earthquake while you're out here this weekend. Who knows? <laughs> Especially if it gets really, really warm. It's supposed to warm up this weekend, too. So tomorrow I'll be riding my Vespa. <laughs> today it was kind of like, I thought maybe the weather was going like, to not get so good. Because it's supposed to be partly cloudy today, but it's looking better than it was before. So, All right, I'm going to stop this introductory lecture and then... Uh, Starting in with lecture number 7A, which is the first one for today.